Students and staff at St. Paul Public Schools are fearing for their safety tonight. The district hoping to ease some of those concerns, releasing a plan with St. Paul Police today. This all comes after a fatal stabbing at Harding High School last week. Harding will add a third liaison officer to their staff, and additional officers will be added to other schools as well. In total, five high schools will also be getting two short-term St. Paul Police officers. Three of those five schools have been impacted by violence in the last month. Before the deadly stabbing, a 16-year-old shot in the head at a rec center, sending Central High into lockdown. And then a staff member was grazed by a bullet at Washington Tech Magnet School. Some students are scared to go back. Our Bab Santos live in St. Paul after attending a vigil for 15-year-old Devin Scott tonight. Now, Babs, tonight was meant for mourning this loss, but some students there expressed worry this pattern of violence may not stop. Yeah, really a tough day for students. Today the district had trauma teams available for students coping with this tragedy at Harding High School. But there tonight, their emotions were on full display. I think we've all still are feeling the same grief, even though we don't know him. Students at St. Paul's Harding High School were out of class on Monday as they cope with the loss of a classmate. Family identifying Devin as the 15-year-old who lost his life in a stabbing at the school on Friday. It was pretty scary because I was um, I was actually like in a classroom near it, and so all of a sudden one of my friends went to go get water, and. He, all of a sudden, I just hear people running and saying there's a knife, and then we went into lockdown. Even without class on Monday, many still came to the school Monday night for this candlelight vigil and balloon release, including Isaac Vang. As he processes the trauma of the past week, he says he's weighing a move to a different school. It's just that Harding just doesn't feel as safe as it's supposed to be. In response, on Monday, St. Paul Public Schools announced short-term security measures for some of its largest schools in the wake of several recent traumatic events. The district plans to keep two police officers on site as an immediate resource outside of five of its schools. At Harding, they'll also add an additional staff member to monitor safety. Students say those measures have been needed for some time. For a while now, our school has been unsettled. There's been a sense of tension amongst all the students. We can all feel it. The faculty can feel it. The teachers can feel it. On Friday, a 16-year-old student allegedly responsible for this stabbing was taken into custody. But as of tonight, he has not formally been charged. Live in St. Paul, Bab Santos, Fox 9. All right. Thank you, Babs.